Okay, guys and girls, I'm going to shoot a quick uh, video of this 1965 Chevrolet Corvair. Um, I actually took still pictures of the trunk and the hood, so I'm probably not going to open them during the video. So there'll be still pictures in the ad of that stuff. Um, bought this car out of Florida. Uh, it, it's been done for a long, long, long time. Um, it's kind of a cool build when the guy built it looked a little awkward to me in an original state when it had some 81 z28 wheels on it and before it was ba had the bags on it i think the car you know it rides a little stiffer when you let the bags all the way down if you put a little air in the bags it it, it, it rides a little nicer um i drove it to town today to rinse the dirt off it because it rained on us and stormed on us on the way home um and my boy, my buddy, my buddy, boy two, sat out here for a couple hours buffing on it. It's, uh, you know, it's an old paint job. So, but we're going to call it a five, maybe a ten footer. Um, the car looks great from five or ten feet away. Super unique, super cool. You're not going to pull up to a cruise night and see another one. And that's what I like and everybody knows it. Yes, I can buy a Camaro, Nova, or Chevelle. I have a Camaro and a Nova. I, I buy those cars, but I just, I, I, I kind of thrive on the different and, and the unique. And this car, it just spoke to me. I like it. It does have manual disc brakes in the front with a dual uh, bowl master cylinder on it. It is the motor transmission render out of a G body. It sounds like they put a little cam in it, aluminum intake and headers. Um, not much more than that. The, uh, like I said, the paint is not a show car, but it's more than respectable go to cruise nights in. Um, just kind of a unique, cool car. Um, I have not tried the stereo yet. He told me how to work on or how to how to hook it up to my phone, and quite frankly, I'm not real good at that. Um, this car is not a hundred percent rust free, but it is not rusty. It's been in Florida maybe its whole life. I'm not a hundred percent sure, but it's been in Florida for a very very long time. And you know, I bought my first car when I was 14 and a half, and I've been around cars my entire life. Um, and interestingly enough, I did not know the history of the name from the Corvair. The guy said it, so I had to look it up myself. Um, it was kind of interesting because it was basically a Corvette and a Bel Air, which is where they got the theme for the paint job. But uh, anyways, the, uh, the interior could use a little bit of dye here and there, a little bit of freshening up. Um, the uh <clears throat> the air ride front and rear one runs off i think the right is front and the bad the left is rear um it pumps up pretty quick it, it's not to be played with it's it's not like the whole hip-hop show it's basically uh basically just uh um to raise and lower the ride height where you want it um, so car sounds good after it warms up it's got a little cam in it a um, little bit of a raspy sound to it a um, little motor sounds real good um, electric fan Just a very unique little 65 Corvair. Um, very cool. Like I said, it's not a show car. Don't show up here think you're going to World of Wheels. Um, it's not what it is. It's a, It's been this guy's daily driver since 2019. So he, he this was a daily down in Florida since 2019. So, but uh, like I said, my, uh, my son did a good job buffing on it today. I have not touched it up. I'm not feeling 100%. I, uh, I was on the road for a long time, but uh, did, a, did a lot of work. Like I said, you can, 
can see there in the paint there's some little marks you know like i said you got to get up i'd say two feet away to start noticing things i'm gonna get some window weld glue tomorrow and put that chrome trim on um with that uh but anyways there you go 1965 corvair with a front engine v8 in it